I'm gonna ask you this one time. Where is the arena meta? I'll do you one better. Who's the arena meta? I'll do you one better. Why is the arena meta? And I'll do you one better. What is the arena meta? Yes, that's what we were talking about in this video, guys. It's been a while since the last time I talked about this. There's been some changes, one big change in particular. So we're gonna talk about some of the teams that I think are in the meta. Plus I'm gonna go into my arena shard and do some gameplay. Are you ready for this? Oh yeah, let's go smash it. Alley flying. Hey, what's up all you Valley Maniacs, Valley Flying here. I am back, welcome to the channel. And yes, we are talking about the current arena meta. What characters do you need to build up in order to win in arena right now? That's where you get the power cores, right? Very important stuff. So uh, we're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna go to battle in my arena shard. And uh, yeah, there's been some changes since the last time I did this video. It's been a while. Uh, one big shiny new change in particular, uh, one that I just added to my roster, and yes, we're definitely going to talk about him. Also, uh, we're, I'm going to go into battle. I'm going to go into battle in my arena shard, and we're going to see if we could win against the current meta right now. So we're going to do all of that. Before we get into that, promotion time, yes. And there is a link to Tee Public in the description. That is where you can get the Valley merch. There's also a link for Patreon, and there's a link for Bluestacks. That is what I am playing on right now, guys. It is my preferred emulator of choice. Totally free for you, and it supports the channel. Anyway, let's talk about the arena meta right now. First team I want to talk about is Spider-Verse. Oh yeah. Oh no, they're not part of the meta. All right, so the first real team I want to talk about is the Guardians. Now, if you look at them, they have a lot of good elements. They, they, they bring a lot to the table. They have some good synergies with them. They got some big damage with that rocket, Star Lord energy, damage battery. They got Jack of all trades with Groot. They got one of the best single target damage dealers with Gamora, one of the best tanks in Drax, and one of the best healers in Mantis, but, I think right now they fall a little short of the meta. Now, why do I say that? Because maybe in your arena shard, you could take a pure Guardians team and go dominate with them. But in the, with what I am seeing in arena right now in those top end arena shards, yeah, a pure Guardians team is not gonna win. So long and short of it, guys, Guardians, really, really good team. They will take you very far in many arena shards, but ultimately, I would have to say the Guardians are not meta. All right, the next team is the Kree, and they're kind of like the Guardians. They got a lot of good elements with them. You got Minerva, the best healer in the game. You got the powerhouse, Captain Marvel. She's got damage dealing, she clears buffs, she heals herself, she's got an AoE when she's in that binary form, she does a lot of good stuff. You got Ronin in this uh, Kree faction with his ability blocks, his summons, he could give energy, uh, not energy, he could give healing to the Kree when they give energy to themselves. He clears positive, he clears the negative effects from your team, I mean, he does a lot. Um, and then you got Korath. Korath is a good character. Doesn't really fit in a team though. And then you got these uh, Kree minions and then uh, Ultimus if you're facing a Luke Cage or something. So there's a lot of different elements here. Uh, you got a good Kree team here and kind of like the Guardians. You may take this team. You may go to the top of your arena shard with this team, but kind of like the Guardians are kind of meant to be more of a raid team. I think so, yeah, they're a very good team, and in some arena shards they may dominate, but when you look at the current meta right now, they are not in it, so not meta. All right, and the next team is probably my favorite team to use, and it is probably the best raid team right now. It has a lot of names, BKE, Tech Nerva, Minardians, the uh, Modified Cosmic Team, the Modified Tech Team, the uh, Hybrid Team. There's probably a bunch of other names out there for this team, but whatever you want to call it, it is a solid, solid team for raids. And what is that team? I, I see a lot of people asking that. That is Star-Lord, Rocket, uh, uh, Thanos, Minerva and Groot in that order, and that is a very, very solid team. Probably the best raid team right now. And you got you got you got the best of the Guardians with Rocket, Star Lord, and Groot. You got uh, the best of the Kree with Minerva, and then 
You got some energy distribution with Thanos and some tanking with Thanos. A very, very strong team. And in some shards, this team may kick butt, but and, and it actually may win against the current meta, and, and, to be honest. But as far as consistently beating the meta, I think there's just some characters that are just too strong and this team's gonna have a hard time overcoming it a lot of the time. Not all of the time, because they will win against the meta some of the time, but a lot of the time with this team will struggle. All right, it pains me to say this because this is one of my favorite teams in the game right now, if not my favorite team in the game right now, but uh, I see them struggling against the current meta. And yeah, they can beat some of these meta teams here and there, but I would say ultimately, and this is painful guys, I would say this team is super close, but not meta. The next team that has to be in the discussion is the Defenders, and these guys have been hit hard by the power creep in this game, so the newer character is kind of negating the the viability of the Defenders. And there used to be this a rock, paper, scissors vibe going on. You know, Defenders could beat Brotherhood, Brotherhood could beat Shield, and Shield could beat the Defenders. And it was a nice vibe we had in Arena, and then People started theory crafting a little and uh, started combining different elements of this these teams, making stronger teams. Newer characters got added and the defenders just kind of fell off. Uh, very hard to beat some of the current meta teams unless you are seriously overpowering them with the defenders. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't see a lot of full defenders teams anymore. I don't see a lot of uh, hybrid defenders teams anymore either. And maybe they're still viable in your shard. I think in a lot of the newer shards, they are still viable and can still get you to the top of the shard at least for a while. So with that said, all of that, uh, they, they, they still are a good team, but in the current meta, the top end meta what I'm, is what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, they are not a part of it. Defenders, not meta. All right, I almost wasn't gonna talk about this team, but the hero brawlers are capable of beating some of the meta teams. Definitely when they're punching down, once in a while when they're punching across, and uh, it, it has happened punching up, but uh, it is less likely. But they do need to be discussed because the hero brawler team is a good team. Now, when you're talking about the hero brawler team, there's one character that makes this team because without her, there is no hero brawler team, and that is Miss Marvel. Her assists, her passive really make this team work. Uh, other characters that I think are really good, you're probably gonna want to eventually move Captain Marvel to this team because now that the power armor team has taken off, she doesn't really have a use in that military team. She can work in Avengers, but I think she's much stronger in this hero brawler team, so her. And with the addition of America Chavez, giving extra health, defense down on her assists, uh, I think that is the foundation for this hero brawler team. Now, I'm probably gonna use Gamora and Deadpool just because I'm gonna put other people on uh, different teams. But I think Gamora Black Panther work really well on this team because of their extra turns. And this team is all about extra turns, whether it's assists from uh, Miss Marvel or assists done from somebody else because of the uh, the passive that Miss Marvel has applied to them. So it's all about extra turns and Gamora, Black Panther get a lot of extra turns. All right, and rating this team meta or not meta? This one was real tough for me, guys, because I have heard of this team punching up against some of these meta teams, and theoretically, I can see that. Uh, but there's two there's two reasons that I don't think they really fit into the meta. One, I don't see this team at all in my arena shard. I don't hear about this team in arena shard. So just kind of by that, it, it makes it hard to include this team in the meta, but also with my personal experience. Now, my team isn't built up crazy, but I have used this team in Blitz, and uh, there, there's some teams that they struggle against. So uh, just for that alone, even though they do have potential, I gotta say, this team is not part of the meta. All right, and it's time to talk about Shield, guys. And in my opinion, this is the best all-around team in the game, but they aren't the top team in any one game mode. Very good in Arena, but not the top of the Arena. They're very good in the Raid, it's not the top Raid team. They can win at 8.3 in Blitz, and they're very, very good in War, 
but they're not the best team in the game anymore, but uh, they they work well in every single game mode. So uh, still, still one of the first teams you should be going for if you're a newer player. But uh, with that said, this video is strictly about Arena. And yeah, they haven't been at the top of the arena for a while, guys. And I don't see a lot of shield teams on defense. I can't use my shield team on offense. Uh, they, they don't beat a lot of these hybrid teams, a lot of these meta teams that are floating out there right now. So it's tough because this team, I, it, it is still a very good team. And in some arena shards, if you don't have some of these shiny new Ultrons or Magnetos floating around, they'll still probably win. But uh, yeah, it's, it's hard, guys. It's hard saying this, but yeah, Shield in arena right now. Not meta. And we are getting down to the final few teams here. And uh, you can't talk about the arena meta without talking about Brotherhood because this team dominated arena for a while, at least on offense. They, they've never been good on defense, but on offense, they have dominated. And parts of them, Magneto in particular, is still part of the arena meta right now. And uh, in a lot of the teams, so is Juggernaut. So. Uh, yeah, this is a very good team, but we're talking about pure brotherhood, guys. Is this one of the best teams in the game? It can definitely punch down against the meta. It can punch even against the meta. And I still think in some cases it can punch up against the meta. Now, not consistently, but I do still think that could punch up consist more consistent than a Hero Brawlers or a BKE or Shield. Uh, those teams can punch up, but I think out of the pure teams, Brotherhood is uh, the one that can punch up the most consistently. When, when we're talking about pure factions here, guys, so yeah, Brotherhood, they, they still have a lot of good elements that are part of the arena meta, and a pure Brotherhood team I still think is very good and will win on a lot of the arena shards nowadays. So yeah, Brotherhood, it's close, but yeah, I think they are meta. Our next team I want to talk about, guys, is the Power Armor team. This is a strong team. This is probably the strongest pre-built team that we have in the game right now. Yeah, I know it didn't start off that way, but ever since they brought Falcon and Rescue to the game, kind of turned into that uh, Power Armor team. They add these new tags to these characters, and uh, putting Vision on that team, uh, it just does a lot. You're getting four big AoEs in a row, all with offense up, if you time it correctly, on turn two which means that Magneto's blind in the beginning, doesn't matter because all their power is coming on turn two. Uh, Rescue makes this team, uh, I, you got all these AOEs, so even Ultron, even, even his bots, they will die. And uh, then you can focus fire Ultron down, not 100% of the time, but they can punch up very, very well against all of the meta teams. Uh, it was made to be a war team, but yeah, they're very good outside of war as well. In Arena, and Blitz, Power Armor, I think uh, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, they are part of the meta. Our right, last team, guys, is the meta team right now. It's not so much a team, it is a character because every team with this character in it is gonna be good. And there's certain characters that make this team even better in Arena. It is the shiny new toy of the game, Ultron, for a lot of people. So he's gonna be popping up in Arena Shards a lot more, you're gonna see him a lot more if he's not already invaded your arena shard. So uh, let's go take a look at some of the teams that uh, people are using in my arena shard right now. So right at the top there, we got Ultron right there and you're gonna see a common theme, Magneto and Juggernaut there. So uh, Vision, Minerva, very, very strong team. This is a tough team to get around. Uh, this is a strong, strong meta team. Next team, we see the same combo here, just a different order. Uh, you kind of seeing where the meta is right now, guys. Vision, uh, Magneto is still there. We don't have Juggernaut. We have uh, Ronin and Daredevil. Now, I'm not sure if this team works better, but kind of got to base your team around red stars. So I'm assuming that this player has uh, a lot of good red stars on their Daredevil and Ronin. That's why they brought them in. But 
These, these are not bad characters on themselves. We talked about Ronan, Daredevil, very strong character as well. So it's not like uh, these are bad characters that you just bring in because of Red Stars. Uh, very similar team again. Instead of Minerva there, we got Groot though. Uh, similar to those uh, first few teams. So yeah, Juggernaut, Magneto, and Ultron seems to be the common theme in a lot of these teams, guys. All right, next we have Magneto, Juggernaut, Ultron, and then we got Minerva and Pyra, another strong team. This is a team that I use right now on offense in uh, Arena. Uh, what else do we have? What else are we seeing in Arena right now? We got Ultron, and he is surrounded by a very different team. So you got Drax there to keep Ultron alive. You got a strong combo here with uh, Punisher and Daredevil. You know, anytime Daredevil's hit, Punisher's gonna counter. And you got someone that can remove some of the debuffs off of Ultron and uh, remove some of the buffs from the other team or one character on the other team in Jessica Jones. So it's another strong character, another strong team here. Um, not the most common team, but this team works and it is based around that character that we talked about, Ultron. Uh, let's look at a couple more teams here, guys. Uh, let's look at Logan's team here, and again, we see that same team. Vision, Ultron, Magneto, Juggernaut, and Minerva. So that is uh, kind of where the arena meta is right now. Let's go into my arena shard, though. We are going to play a battle, so who should we fight? Uh, let's go and go for the, the this team right here. Number 22 going up against Danger. So we'll see how I do, and I hopefully don't embarrass myself too much. So this is a team that I'm using in arena right now still experimenting with the placement uh not sure if this is the best placement this but this is where i've been placing them so um they've been winning they, they win more often than not and hopefully because i'm recording we end up winning uh this battle here guys so we'll see how the the meta is working right now let me switch that to three speed so that this battle doesn't go ultra slow because this battle could take a while so i'm gonna bring everybody together with ultron they're gonna do the same and now it's just about avoiding the blinds. So one of the keys here when going against the AI is that uh, the AI Pyro is always gonna use his uh, special. So kind of wasting that. So just make sure that you use the basic, clearing that blind. And Ultron doesn't matter with him because he is summoning, so that blind doesn't matter. Minerva, you don't wanna do anything too much. Uh, Juggernaut doesn't matter with him either. Uh, and then Minerva, I just use her basic because nobody has died and uh, the thing she will miss with her uh, ultimate there. All right, so now we're just gonna feed the energy to Ultron, boom, boom, and we're gonna get a big hit on Juggernaut, hopefully taking him into the red. They took mine into the yellow, way down into the yellow. Let's see what I could do to his Juggernaut and took him down into the yellow, but I think his is better. So Magneto still has blind, so we gotta take that off, use his basic there. And oh, Juggernaut is going down and here he comes. And not that bad, everybody is still alive. And unfortunately, we have a few defense ups here, uh, and we'll see what we do with this damage here. Hit a few charges on him, didn't take anybody out. Uh, yeah, that was a bad one. All right, so now the blind is off of Pyro, and we are going to use his special, clear the buffs off of the enemy team, and now we are going to just hit them a little more, heal some of the Juggernaut's health and uh, Ultron's health right there. And whose turn is it? It is Minerva's. They're going to do the same to us. So it's kind of like a chess match here. And uh, they did Pyro's ultimate there because they wasted their special with the blinds. And now we are going to attack Minerva. I've tried to go after Ultron first and sometimes I got lucky. But um, yeah, if, if Minerva heals, uh, brings them back to life, that is so disheartening. So. Gonna try to, to uh, kill him, hopefully, or kill both of them before their next turns. Hopefully we get Minerva right there, boom, and we're getting Ultron. Let's clear these off of him. There we go, Magneto dies there from the bleeds, and game, set, match. All right, oh no, he revived. Oh, it's not a game, set, match. All right, we gotta kill him one more time. His, his speed bar is low, though, so we are looking game we are looking at I almost said it again uh, we are looking at almost auto time here as soon as uh, Ultron goes down probably should have just attacked right there but let's see if we let's see if we get the big hit right but no not the big hit all right he's down all right it is auto time right now and there we go that is it and uh, yeah the best counter to Ultron like I said in the last video is Ultron. So uh, work on those Fear the Darkness nodes, work on getting those uniques, 
it is definitely worth it. Uh, before I got Ultron, I was trying to stay in the top 100, once in a while sneaking into the top 50. Now I'm trying for the top 20. Haven't gotten there yet, but uh, trying for that. And that is the current state of arena. What is going on in your arena shard, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you seeing another meta? Do you think some of these teams should have been left on the list? Or should I have left some of the other teams, maybe like the Brotherhood off? Let me know, guys. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, more Marvel Strike Force content and other stuff coming, guys. So subscribe, smash on that like button, join the notification squad. I will see you guys next time. Share this with your friends, too, because it helps the channel. Hulk fist bump, valley flying. Ugh. Out.